Hey guys, Mr. Mig here, live from Audio Mac Studios, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, for Who Mag TV. Today's tip of the day is called side chaining. Side chaining is a common technique that us dance producers use to create that pumping effect. It's when you have two instruments and you want to keep the kick focused, side chaining or ducking pushes all other instruments out of the way. So let's get to it. If we go Alright, so I'm going to open up a session in Logic. I actually started one. And what we're going to do is, let me mute everybody out because I've kind of put together something for you already. Alright, so let's say we start with a session that's 126 beats per minute. As I set it down here, I'm going to take a kick drum sample, just a four on the floor kick drum, and I'm going to play it. Very common in today's, uh, today's electronic music, it's very standard. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create another track right below it, which I did right here, and I'm gonna make a duplicate of this kick drum sample. So right on underneath on this next track is an identical performance of this kick drum. So let me just solo that. And actually, I'm gonna unmute that. I have it muted and I'll explain why. All right, good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mute this second kick drum out, and we're gonna change the output to nothing. No output. I can even, I can even unmute it at this point because you're not gonna hear anything. And I like to label everything to keep organized. So I labeled the kick track, obviously kick, no brainer. I labeled the duplicate kick track, the side chain kick or SC, S chain kick or SC kick, whatever you can, uh, you can remember. All right, so now I'm gonna play it back and you're still only gonna hear the first kick. So even when I solo the second kick, you're not hearing anything because I set the output to nothing. All right, good. The next step is to create a bass line or an instrument that you want to have that pumping effect. So in, typically you start out with a good bass line and you want the notes that are coinciding when the kick hits to duck out of the way. You don't want them to be the same volume. You always want your kick to be the thing that you hear the loudest in a dance track. I should say actually keep the most steady. So I'm going to turn off the effects that I have on here. I'm going to turn off my compressor and I'm just going to play the bass line by itself. All right, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the kick and the bass line together so you can hear how, how they're working together right now. The bass is kind of just straight. It's not pumping. It's just uh, it's just a, a bland performance. No effects, nothing. All right, 